Hi guys, this is the Twisted One. Uh, this is my first ever video, so please bear with me. Now, this is a tutorial on how to fix the FPGA, well, bad FPGA, on your X key remote after an update. Now, what you need to do is take your SD card out of your X key and then put it into your computer, download USB image tool and the X key update, uh, X key recovery, sorry. Um, all links will be in the dis in the description. Now, just delete that. Now, open up the file for USB image tool, and then go to your generic mini SD reader. Now, what you want to do is click backup, and then save it to your desktop. I'm just going to put it under as Twisted Nips, because that's who I am. Then click save. Now this will take a while, and I'm going to I'm going to pause this because I don't want to sit here and make this a long ass video. Hi guys, I'm back, and as you can see, this is almost done. There you go. Now, now you've made a backup, as you can see right here. What you want to do is click on Restore, then go to your X key recovery file, and then click on X key erase, and click Open, and then Yes. There you go. That should be done. Now, what you need to do is eject the SD card and put it into your X key back into your X key and you will notice on the actual chip there is a solid blue light if there hasn't check the connection of the actual card itself or redo the following steps then once you, once you know you've got that working and it's solid blue light take it back out and reinsert it into your computer then click on restore then find on the desktop your backup that you did click open and yes then once you've done this I, I will pause this yet again hi guys I'm back and as you can see that's actually finished now what you need to do is take this back out of your computer and plug it back into your X key then get your favorite SD, uh, USB stick and get the latest updates and then open the file and then put in put in I'll delete that so you can actually see what I'm doing you need to get, then go to open up your X key recovery file, then copy and paste the fpga.vme file and place it into the same file as your updates. And then all you need to do is insert that into your remote and then it should take three minutes of updating and then it should actually fix the problem. Thank you.